Hello, today we're working on how to create a number sequence in Excel. I've got seven different ways to do it. You may know another way. If you do, leave it in the comment below. And this is part of our uh, six minute Excel series. So let's get started. Now, when you first start Excel, you think everything has to be done manually. You don't realize there's formulas or other ways to do things. So enter it manually, one, two, three, four, five, or whatever. Well, that's the probably worst way to do it. Now, if you're gonna do it this way, let me give you a little power tip where one, if you highlight the range and hit one and then enter and then two and enter, you see it, it auto recognizes we're going to go down this, um, this range and it'll go back if you hit enter. So let's keep going three, four, five, I hit enter, it goes back to the top. So it's just that range right there. That does save you a little time if you're trying to do just a few numbers. But what if you have what if you have a thousand numbers? Well, I'm not gonna spend time typing all that in. There's ways to do it. Now, one of the things that Excel can do is it can save you lots of time. So you've gotta use formulas or functions in Excel. Now, one way to do it is just a formula. So let's say we, we can do it for dates. I'm gonna show you different things. So let's say um, we have Christmas 1225. Well, that's December 25th. And let's format it for um, the short date here. And then we can go back and say, well, equals Christmas day plus one, and that is the 26. And then we can take that and uh, copy that down, copy that formula down, and we can see it adds one day. So you can do a series of numbers, dates come out as numbers in Excel. So you can do a formula. And so this formula just is B9 plus one. You can see how it works. Now, you kind of saw how we did uh, that, but there's two ways that are kind of interconnected. You can do the drag or the double click. So let's say we're, we're adding by 10, so 10, 20, 30. So you just have to give Excel the sequence and you can highlight it and then take that left click, the bottom right hand corner, it's called the fill handle, and you can go from there. It recognizes the sequence and it goes all the way down. Now, what if we want to go all the way down to those numbers, we can double click all a thousand. So let's check here. We've gone all the way to the thousand rows and we can double click all the way down. Let's highlight in the fill handle, double click. And you can see we've gone all the way down to the 1000 rows. Well, so you can see the second one uh, of this, these two right here uh, is you can start the sequence and let's say it's 100 and 200 and 300 and all we have to do is highlight it. If we have something to the left to kind of give us a guide, we can just simply double click and it sends it all the way down. And there is the fastest way probably of, of these two rather than drag, 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 drag. Sometimes you drag and you go past it, you have to reverse and delete some. So um, those are two quick ways to do it. Let me show you three others real quickly. One, there's, there's actually a sequence function. So let's do the sequence. And the sequence will say, hey, I want to do, let's say 12 rows, and we'll do one column, and we'll start with the number one, and we'll go up by, uh, let's say, 10. So done, so we got one, 11, 21. Now what happens is this becomes formulas, and you can go back and change. This is a, an array that spills down all the way down. So this, we can't change. If we try to change this number, we'll get an error because it'll be a spill error. It messes up the formula here at the very beginning. All right, so let's do a couple of other ways that you may not have seen how to do it. So let's, we're gonna count, you know, one to a thousand or whatever. We're gonna use the series button and we're gonna use the secret menu. So the series button is, let's start with a one. Let's put our one right there and on the, the home ribbon, if you go to the right, there is a drop down here that says series and the series, we're gonna put it in columns. We're gonna um, step value one, we're gonna add one to it, and let's stop at 1000. So we hit okay. And what we have is we have put in a series of 100 numbers, or I'm sorry, 1000 numbers, just one by one by one. And those numbers are there. There's not a formula there, so you can use that for whatever. Now, there's easy, even a quicker way sometimes, um, and. Pay attention to this because it's a little bit tricky. So let's start with the one. Let's do the same thing. Um, I'm going to the fill handle to the right. Now I'm going to right click, not left click. And I'm going to drag down 
and then come back up and release. And now we have a secret menu that you normally don't see. Series, we do the same thing. Column, step value. Let's start with, um, let's do step value of 20 and let's stop at 20 and let's stop at um, 3000. How about that? So now we have all these numbers and it stopped at 2981 because it would go to 3001. So that's another way to do that. So I think there's seven ways to create a series of numbers. The worst way, red, stop, don't do this, don't enter it manually unless you just have five and that's no big deal. But enter a formula or drag, double click, use the sequence function, the series button up here, or the secret menu. That's a little power tip. Um, and so you're gonna be in great shape on that. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching.